Uh, as I said yesterday, in the house we're kind of, uh, you know, a little snarky. We like to have fun. And uh, two of my colleagues uh, started an organization called the RFL. If you remember Speaker Dowd's speech that you saw earlier, uh, Republicans are actually more in favor of farmers and labor than anybody else. So my friends and colleagues uh, are here today to talk about what is the RFL, and I am proud to say that I am one of the founding members. So, please welcome Representative Tim Miller and Representative Jason Rarick. Well, good afternoon, my Republican friends and family. Such a privilege to be up here this afternoon. I think we're having a great convention, don't you? Yeah. So, I, I serve, I'm Tim Miller, State Representative Tim Miller. I serve in District 17A, which is in CD7. And I live in a very rural, very agriculture-related district. In 2014, I ran, I ran in 12, lost, but I heard that they were all talking like me. In 14, I went out there and I spoke the message to all the farmers of how the Republicans support them better. And I beat a three-time incumbent and in a seat that's been Democrat for over 30 years, I won by 11 points. In 2016, the Democrats said I was running the seat and they wanted it back. And I went out there and talked to more farmers and more blue-collar workers because that's who's in that district. And I admit that I did not win by 11 points that time. I won by 18 points. <laughs> Republicans, I'm here to tell you that we represent farmers and laborers better than the Democrats do. We just have to get that message out. So the RFL was formed in order to do that. By the way, when we started the RFL, what did the DFL do? Rather than speak to the farmers and laborers, they tried to sue us for the name. I guess they like their attorneys more than their farmers and laborers. So anyway, the goal of the RFL is to spread that message out throughout the state. We believe that in our effort to turn Minnesota red, we're going to be able to do that by speaking to those farmers and those laborers because they are looking for a home. I can tell you in the state legislature, the Democrats continually oppose everything that's good for farmers and labor and the Republicans continue to try and promote things. So we ask for your help. We have a booth out there. Um, we are looking to generate a little bit of money if you join a membership with us at this time. It's going to be $20. You get a t-shirt and a button. I think Jason has the t-shirts. Nope. We have the t-shirts. We're going to hand some out here. But right now, I'd like to hand the mic over to my very good friend and colleague, a very good man. And by the way, a trade union member and a part of the Republican Party, Representative Jason Rarick. Thank you, everyone. Just a little background, a little more than what Tim had said. You know, the RFL started with four House members, and we thought it was going to be maybe just a little bit of fun. We were going to poke the Democrats in the eye a little bit, just have some fun. And we started with, we had a couple cups and we made some videos, and we said within two days we had a cease and desist order. <laughs> When's the last time the Democrats have responded to an issue that fast for farmers or laborers? So, I've been a union electrician for 25 years and have served two terms in the House as a Republican. And sometimes I get some weird looks. But I spoke at an event one time, uh, Building Trades, and explained to them exactly why I was a Republican. And after that event, I had six people come up to me in the hallway and whisper, I just want you to know, I'm a Republican too. And that's when I realized it was more than just rank and file members who believe the way we do. Because how many of us have been out talking to our friends and neighbors that believe in fiscal responsibility, that believe in right to life, that believe in our Second Amendment rights? Up and down the board, they agree with us, and then they say, oh, well, I'm a farmer, I'm a Democrat. Or I'm a working guy, and I'm a Democrat. 
Well, I think it's time for us to reach out to these people and explain to them just why they need to give the Republican Party a look. And I think Kurt Doubt did a wonderful job with his speech on the floor that we all saw earlier today, showing people why they should look at the Republican Party because the Democrats have left them. And that's the message you need to get out to the people that you know. It's not about them leaving the Democrats. And by the way, let's stop calling them the DFL because they're not representing farmers and laborers. They're Democrats, not DFLers. But we need to get out to them and say, you're not going to leave the Democrats. They left you. And that was part of what we said, part of our new slogan. We move, our original logo had the F and the L on the left side of Minnesota. And we realized when their lawyer sent to the letter, we made a mistake. So we moved the F and the L to the right, where they belong. So please look us up on Facebook. Uh, Minnesota RFL, and we have a website, MNRFL. Share that with the people that you know. Let us get, our in, get, us get out there, help us promote this so people realize they are Republicans. They're with us. Thank you.